Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Point. Happy Sunday, I am outside in front of my garage because today is the day that I am finally sharing my new home tour of our home in Arizona. We absolutely love our new home. We have done a ton of work to it since we moved in. It has been a process, but I am ready for the big reveal. So if you're excited, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on so you never miss a future video. I do upload five days a week, so make sure you're subscribed and your bell is turned on. Check out that description box down below for nutrition coaching, where I offer personalized to you macros and calories, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. Links, discounts to all my favorite things are also down in that description box and my Facebook group. Head on over, join us there. We'd love to have you. So let's go on in and tour our Arizona home. Welcome to the home tour of our home in Arizona. I'm so excited to finally be able to share our home tour with you. Now that the construction is over, the house is clean, the things are in their place, I am ready to take you into our new home. So here's what you see when you walk into the front door. We have quite a grand entrance. I don't know if you can see the ceiling with the cutout. We really like that. We ended up leaving the dark brown that was there when we purchased the home. If you remember, we had the entire inside of the home painted. So the colors that you see on the walls were colors that we chose. We actually did put a brand new light fixture in as well. So this is facing the front door. When we put new trim in our home, which the entire home has a brand new base, we did have the front door painted on the inside as well. It was just really scuffed up from it being most likely not painted since this house was built, which was 2009. We did go ahead and put our cute little metal C on the wall as you enter into the foyer. And this closet right here is a perfect coat closet. We have all our coats hung up in there, which as you know, we don't really need a lot of coats here in Arizona. And then on this side of our entryway, I have this cute little decor decor piece. This actually used to be up in my other house in our mudroom area. Everything is from Hobby Lobby with the exception of the shelf, which is actually from Fred Meyer or Kroger. We love the two little windows on both sides of the door. So does Palmer. Palmer's always sticking his little head in there seeing what's going on out front. Also in the entryway, we did put our bench that was in our mudroom in our old home and our cute little welcome to our home sign. That is from Hobby Lobby. The bench is from a furniture store local to Washington. And then this cute faux plant. I think I got this at TJ Maxx several years ago. So we will sit here to put on our shoes and get ready to head out the door. So again, this is the entryway when you first walk into our home. From the front door, you're going to enter the main living area. One thing we loved about this home is how big, wide, and open concept it is, which makes it really, really nice for entertaining. And of course, the kitchen stole my heart the minute I saw the pictures. So this is our living room. We actually have two what could be living rooms or dining rooms. This is the one that we've designated for our living space. The couch and chair we purchased right before we moved in Spokane and luckily they fit really nicely in our new home. And then this little table here was actually in our mud room in our old house. And again, it just fits perfectly in between the couch and the recliner. We did go ahead and purchase this coffee table from Ashley Furniture, which funny story, there's really only one furniture store in the part of Arizona we live in, which is Ashley. So all of our new furniture came from there. This cute little decor in the middle actually is from Walmart. This is one of my favorite little corners of the house. You're going to have to excuse the dogs and the dog toys, but we actually had this chair in our home in Washington. And when we moved into this house, I thought, how perfect is this for this little corner with this faux plant that was in our old living room. And then I found this really pretty sunset picture at Walmart, believe it or not. And it just ties in this corner, adds a little bit of color because we have some orange and some red. Our TV stand was the same one we had in our house in Washington. It was quite the beast to move. And then this faux plant was actually in my living room, in my main living room in my old home as well. 
as the clock that we decided to put here on the wall. We have this cute little cutout over here. We ended up not putting any furniture in here. It is where our thermostat is, and we just have a small nightlight. So that is the living room area. We love it. It is so warm and cozy and just super inviting. And of course, I love how it's open to the kitchen area. There is one more thing I wanted to show you, and that is this little area over here. So I guess this would also be part of the living room. This table was in our formal living room in our house in Washington. Same decor for the most part. I think the only thing that I swapped out was this little faux plant here, which is actually from Hobby Lobby. I have my Scentsy burner, a photo of Tori and myself, candles, and then we have these lighted, we call them our weeds, but this lighted floral on the bottom. And then this same mirror, hey, this same mirror that was above the table in our home in Washington. So we really like this space. And if you come from this angle, you can see where it kind of falls in the scheme of the living room. Now I'm standing in the living room and you get a view of the kitchen. Like I said, the kitchen was one of the main things that attracted me to this house because it's huge and it's gourmet and you guys know how much I love to cook. Starting with this side of the kitchen, this really tall cabinet here is what we use as our pantry. And let me tell you, there is so many cabinets in this kitchen. A lot of them are empty and I have a lot of kitchen things and a lot of my cabinets are actually still empty. I did decide to make this little area over here, my coffee bar area. You know I make a coffee every single morning and I did have some drawers and some cabinets which come really come in really handy for all of the coffee supplies. Now our refrigerator is new. This is actually the exact same refrigerator we had in our home in Washington. And the one we had here was just kind of dented and old. This is the one that you knock on and it lights up. So we did end up deciding to purchase a new refrigerator and a new dishwasher. The dishwasher was really disgusting. So we decided to get a new one of those as well. On this side of my kitchen is the double ovens. This is another thing that got me really excited about this kitchen. Not one oven, but two ovens, which has come in really, really handy, especially for meal prep. And then you can just see the wide array of cabinets and countertops in this kitchen. The above range microwave was here when we moved in. It is pretty old. It's probably something we'll replace in the future. And then this baby right here, was another thing I was so excited about was a gas stove. I have always, always wanted a gas stove. And in Washington, we did not have natural gas to our house. So we would have had to have a propane tank. No thank you. So this has just made my kitchen cooking dreams come true. And then our counters are granite. They are kind of a greeny, beigey black. It's really hard to explain, but there is so much countertop surface. And like I said, just so many cabinets. And then really the star of the kitchen, let's be honest, is this huge, huge island. We did go ahead and buy these bar stools. They match our kitchen table, which I'll show you guys next. But I just love this island. It is huge. It's beautiful. And this little corner right here is actually where I do all my meal prep. When you guys watch my meal prep videos on Monday. And I just love it. It is absolutely stunning. And it is gourmet gourmet can be which makes me so happy and then we do have our new dishwasher which is lg like our refrigerator so that is the kitchen which like i said is the heart of the home is the part of the home that we really spend most time in and i love everything about it and just for another angle you can see here how it opens up into the living room to the left of the island is the dining room our table and chair set also came from ashley furniture and we liked how it had these little shelves on the side for just a little bit of decor. I have some salt and pepper and some coasters. And honestly, we've never ate at this table. We always just eat on our kitchen island, but we love the table. It's kind of a gray, gray black color. It's absolutely beautiful and it is counter height, which is our favorite. We like to be a little bit taller off the ground. I have my air purifier in one corner. And then this C here was actually in the living room, in the formal living room in our old house. I love all of the natural light. We have two huge, huge windows and then a nine foot slider that goes out to our backyard. I did go ahead and put this faux plant in the corner, which was in my kitchen in my other home. And then this clock here was in one of the other rooms. I don't even know which one. This is where all the dog food is. And we did have a dog door put in the side of our house when we first moved in here, which again is super, super handy so the dogs can go in and out. 
And then these sconces were in the living room in my old house and now have made their way into our kitchen space. So that is our dining room. And again, I just love how it flows right off of the kitchen. So again, the living room, the kitchen, and the dining room. And then moving into this space. So this is adjacent to the kitchen. So here is the entry way right here into the kitchen. So this is supposed to be a formal dining space. Actually, the light fixture in here used to be one of the hanging ones and we had it replaced with one of these because we actually decided to make this space into more of a sitting room. So my artwork here was in the formal living room of our old home and then we bought this really cute little table at Ashley Furniture. It's more of a writing table. I've sat here a few times and done my grocery list, journaled, and so we went ahead and placed that on the wall right below the painting just to kind of, again, make it a seating space, make it a comfortable space and then across from the cute little table so you can see that across from that we did purchase this couch also at Ashley Furniture it's a faux leather couch kind of a microfiber material the dog hair does stick to it which is a little bit of a bummer we were hoping that it wouldn't but it actually does so we're working on keeping the dogs off of this couch and then I purchased this mirror above the couch at Hobby Lobby when I went with my mother-in-law and I just love it I love how the cream just kind of brings together the room. And then to the side is the table. This was one of our nightstands in our bedroom. We got new bedroom furniture, which I'll show you guys. So we decided to repurpose our nightstands and it fits perfectly next to the couch. I just added this little Scentsy burner and this faux plant. Again, lots of natural light, big windows in this room. And then in the corner, I thought this was really fun. It actually fit the space really nicely. This little shelf used to be in Troy's bathroom in our old house and we just used it as a plant stand. This is the only real plant that I have besides my aloe vera on my kitchen table and all the rest of the plants are faux. But I just think it looks really nice in the corner and again, just kind of ties the room together. We also have a lot of built-in storage in this house besides all the cabinets in the kitchen in this living space where we have as a second living room, there is an entire cabinet here that we can use for storage. So I store all of our paper towels, Kleenex, toilet paper, and then down here I have just extra spices and candles and just extra storage, which comes in really handy. So again, this is the second living room or the second living space, which we have created to be kind of a seating area. And then we actually head down the hall to this portion of our house. One other thing we loved about this home is the master is on the complete opposite side of the house from the other two bedrooms and bathroom, which is really nice, especially when I'm working away and filming in my office. So starting in the hallway, right outside of our bathroom, our second bathroom, we have more storage. Like I said, I just love all the storage that this house has. We have extra soap and body wash and hand soap and lotions and things like that in this cabinet. It can also be used as a linen cabinet for the second bathroom. What are you doing, Lola? Crazy dog. And then this is our guest bathroom. And we went with the same kind of green green theme that we had in our other house. We actually repurposed the old pictures that were in our other house and the old shower curtain. And there is the second photo. We actually used all of our old linens as well because we just liked the look of the green. And I just really love the shower curtain. I also love that there's windows above the tub, which is again, really nice for some natural light. And then the vanity, it's a little bit older but it's in really good shape. And again, the coloring and everything just ties together really nicely for that green theme. And coming out of the bathroom, these pictures right here, I actually picked up at Target and I love them. They're kind of a whitewashed wood. They were a set of two and I just bought two sets of two. And I think they look really nicely lining this main wall in our hallway. And this little area right here, I have to say, is one of my other favorite little special pieces of this home, and that is this cute little built-in bench. We do have the blinds drawn so the dogs don't get the bright idea to hop up here and look out the window, and so far, it's worked. I did pick up these pillows at Bell's here in Arizona, and I just love the yellow and the gray and that cream color. It just looks so nice, and this is just 
a beautiful little seating area. And then we have the two bedrooms, starting with this room here, which is our guest bedroom. We knew when we moved to Arizona that we would probably have a lot of guests because everybody is interested in coming and visiting sunny Arizona. So we decided to make this into a guest bedroom and I wanted to bring in some color. I wanted some Arizona sunset summery colored vibes. So we went with orange and these photos right here were in my formal living room in my old home. I did buy new bedding, new pillows, a new blanket. The bed and bed frame was in the spare bedroom of our other home. I did go ahead and put this little table here with a basket for keys and it just kind of added that last little bit of color to this side of the room. This mirror is from TJ Maxx and I love it. It is like a wicker kind of mirror and again it had the orange in it that just sort of tied everything together. The full closet for our guests, a huge window for lots of natural light. And then I created this little space here. This is the other nightstand that used to be in our bedroom and I just bought a few decor pieces. This little faux plant is from TJ Maxx. Same with this kind of interesting glass sculptural piece. I just really like it. A photo of Tori and myself and then at the bottom I have a basket with an extra blanket. And then this piece of artwork was in the hallway of our home in Washington and I just thought that it tied in really nicely with this little corner space. And when we have guests, they can even utilize that drawer if they would like. One other thing I wanted to point out is the flooring. So this house had full carpet in all three bedrooms and closets, which we tore out and put in this luxury vinyl, which I absolutely love. And you can see the new trim. We did new trim through our entire house and we did the larger four inch trim, which just again adds a nice extra kind of fancy touch. And I really appreciate appreciate how the luxury vinyl flows in nicely with the tile. We love the tile. We didn't want to get rid of it. So the luxury vinyl flows really nicely. So that is our guest bedroom and I am obsessed with how it turned out. And then next to the guest bedroom is my favorite place, of course, which is my office. I have to say I loved my office in my other house, but I really love my office in this house. I had the walls painted a gray color because all of my decor is greenery and gray and cream and light brown, which I thought just tied really nicely with the gray paint. So all of the decor was in my other office, in my other home. All I did is just recreate a filming background. So this is going to look very familiar to you, the bookshelves with all the decor. This is primarily what you see in the background of all of my videos. I did go ahead and put a faux plant down in the corner to cover up an electrical outlet. The dogs always have a bed in here. And I did, we did put the luxury vinyl in my office as well. You can also see this little corner in my videos and I just love how this little space turned out as well. So I have my things to do, my cute little shelving unit with my light and my candle. And then I did go ahead and add a faux plant just for the background of my videos. This whole setup right here is brand new and I love it. If you remember in our old home in Washington, we remodeled our master bathroom and I had a vanity built into our master bathroom for my makeup so I could get ready in the morning. Well, I don't have that here. So I decided to use my office as also my beauty space. If you didn't know, I have a beauty channel. So I film videos and tutorials and things as well for my beauty channel. So this is my little makeup corner, starting with this adorable shelf off of Amazon. These are all of my eyeshadow palettes. We're not judging, we are not judging, but they are placed by brand and I just love that it's right next to my makeup vanity so that it's easy for me to just grab a palette when I get ready in the morning. My vanity is actually from Wayfair and it was really affordable. It was less than $400, which I think is a great deal. It came with this large mirror. I love that the top of the vanity is glass so you can actually see in to your drawers. And and then there are just a ton of drawers for me to store all of my makeup. It wipes off really easy because it is kind of this shiny, clear coated material. My chair is from Target. I love it, it's white and it just matches perfectly with my vanity. I will see if I can find my makeup vanity on Wayfair's website and link it for you. 
And then this next little corner over here is the start of my workspace. So of course I have my vision board, my cute little shelf. This was in my old office. Like I said, all of the decor was repurposed. This little table was also in my old office and I did go ahead and put my printer on there. I did get a new desk, which I also love. My desk is from Amazon, and to my surprise, it was a much better quality than I anticipated it to be for as affordable as it is. So I'll link it for you as well, but it is white, and there is a storage space, a large drawer, and then there is a small drawer in the front. It has some character to it with the panels, which I think is really nice. And then even, you know, the base of the desk just looks really nice. It looks a lot more expensive than it was. And then this lamp actually used to be in my formal living room in my old home, and it has now made its way into my office. I sit in front of this big window for filming. And then lastly in my office is my closet. And my closet is utilized for storage. So these bins used to be in my master bedroom closet and are now in the closet in my office. It houses all my backup makeup and skincare and brushes, all of the decor for when I decorate my office, lots of storage in this closet as well, all of my ring lights and tripods. I really like having a closet where I can keep products and have it be organized but still shut the door. So this is my office and like I said, I love it. I love everything about it. I spend a lot of time in here. It's homey, it's cozy, and it's 100% me. As you leave my office, we are heading back into the main living area. Again, here is that second living room or could be a formal dining room. And then on the opposite side like I mentioned is the master bedroom master bath and our laundry room in the hallway here we have this mirror it actually came with our house and we really liked it so we left it there's the little cubby in the living room area and then that goes right into our laundry room and then this door here goes out to our garage a lot of you have been asking about the flooring that we put in our garage so I'll take you out there and show you the garage there's still a few things that are being done but I'll show you so far what we've done since we moved in we have have some shelves here in the laundry room which come in really handy they were here when we purchased the home we did go ahead and buy a brand new washer and dryer we had a front loader that was here and it was just really dingy and dusty and dirty and crusty so we got rid of it and we did buy a top load washer and dryer just because it fits a little bit better in the space with this door out to the garage and then on this side I bought this rack at Ace Hardware basically for storage and it actually sits behind the door so you don't even really notice it and it just makes the laundry room storage a little bit more aesthetic and then I keep my mop and my broom and all of that here in the laundry room as well. Cute little laundry service photo is from Hobby lobby this three set is so cute this is from big lots here in Arizona it says dry full and then over here it says wash so that's the laundry room it's bigger now that we have a top load washer and dryer but it's still a pretty small space but it works for us and then as you're leaving the laundry room that's where you enter into the master bedroom bathroom and closet so we'll go ahead and start here in the master bathroom this was another thing that we really liked about this house this is a huge master bath. We do have double vanities. Again, lots of storage space in the bathroom, which we really, really appreciate. And on the side over here, we actually have a medicine cabinet and a full mirror. I did pick up this cute little succulent decor piece at Hobby Lobby. On this wall here is where we hang our towels. And I love, love, love the glass block up here. This is the shower. We have a huge floor to ceiling tile shower and the glass block lets in a lot of natural light. So here is the master shower. So again, there's your glass block, which does of course let in a lot of natural light. I do wanna show you guys these little stick on shelves. I saw these on TikTok. These are amazing. They do not budge and you can load them up and they do not fall down. So I'll link them, I bought them on Amazon. You saw in one of my What I Eat In A Days that we bought a new shower head. There is the window in the shower, which again, just lets in a lot of natural light. So again, floor to ceiling, 
master shower, which we absolutely love. And then in traditional Arizona fashion, we have a toilet closet. Every house in Arizona has a toilet closet. We didn't see a single one that didn't. And it's funny, in Washington, we didn't have anything like this. So obviously the toilet, and then I did grab a couple of new decor pieces at Hobby Lobby for this room, which I really like. In fact, we did buy two new toilets for both bathrooms. These are the comfort height, so they're a little bit taller as well. So here is just a quick overview of the master bathroom. And then as you walk through the master bath, we enter into the master closet. And you guys already know that this spoke to me when I saw it in the pictures. We did go ahead and put the luxury vinyl flooring in here because there was carpet. I love the huge, 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 huge walk-in closet. This is kind of my space over here. I took some of the built-in shelves for my workout clothes and pants and skirts. I keep some extra bathroom things up on that shelf. And then we just have a lot of space for our clothes. These little racks were in the closet in our other house and they are for shoes. And I just put them up on the shelf on my side of the closet and it's perfect for me to store all of my shoes. And then any extra overflow of shoes for Tori and I are on the shelves above his section of the closet. So he actually has quite a bit of closet space as well. We ended up putting our full length mirror in here and a stool for Troy to sit down to put his shoes on. This is where I take a lot of my full length pictures. The mirror just fit perfectly in here. So that is the master walk-in closet, another one of my favorite features of this house. And here is the master bedroom. Now it's not as large as our other master bedroom, but, but my favorite thing is the windows. Look at this, I mean, so many windows, so much natural light. Like I mentioned, we did end up getting new bedroom furniture. That's why we have the extra nightstand. So we went with a little bit darker wood and a little bit more modern of a headboard. In our other house, we had a log bed, which just didn't go in Arizona. It just wasn't really the vibe we were after. So we picked this bed set up at Ashley Furniture and we really, really love it. I did incorporate all of my favorite artwork from our other house and it just added a little bit of color to the room because it is a pretty neutral room, which is kind of my preferred for a bedroom. And we have our dresser, which really prompted buying this bed set was this dresser. We just fell in love with this with our TV and then on to the, to the right of it, I do have one of my faux plants and a clock. So that is our master bedroom. We love it. We absolutely love it. And as promised, I wanted to take you guys out to the garage because a lot of you were saying that you loved the floor. So this is basically an epoxy flooring. So it's in the entire garage. This is our two car garage. And we also have a one car garage as well. So for a total of three garages, we really, really love the flooring. It's very easy to clean. It looks really, really nice. We also put in a water softener because we have very, very hard water here in Arizona. Troy did get a new toolbox, which he loves. And then we did pick up some cabinets from Lowe's and we had a local handyman come install those for us. And then this is the black fridge that was off of our kitchen in our other house. So we've done quite a bit in our garage. All of these bins right here will be gone this week. We're actually having in the ceiling a big metal rack. So the rack I shared with you guys just got put in. It's a couple days after I filmed the home tour. So I'm just going to insert a clip of the rack. This is where we are going to store everything. It is so nice that it just hangs directly from the ceiling. So all of the storage is out of the way. So definitely a good decision to add the rack. So we'll be able to store everything. We'll probably buy matching bins so that it looks a little bit nicer in here. And that way Troy will be able to park his car in here as well because right now we only have my car in here, but we love the flooring. It really just is all coming together so nicely. Now I've shown you guys the backyard in a few what I eat in a day, but I have to include it in the home tour. I am not going to show you the front of our house just for privacy's sake. Another one of my favorite features is our outdoor space. It's pretty common in Arizona to have a covered patio because it gets extremely, extremely 
hot here. So you can see the dog door. So again, it's perfect for the dogs to go in and out. I love the large slider. And then we did pick up this patio set from Ashley Furniture as well. I love the tan with the little pop of blue. My little faux plant here is from Big Lots. We did put a new outdoor ceiling fan. The one that was here was original and it was so old and ugly that we ended up getting a new fan. And then my husband's pride and joy is our black stone grill. This is the barbecue that actually is a griddle instead of a traditional barbecue. And we really like it. We can barbecue year round here, so we will definitely get a lot of use out of it. But that is the covered patio space, one of my favorite things in this backyard. And then coming out of the covered patio area, we had a tree right here and we ended up taking it out because it's really close to our house, which isn't smart for roots. And I did buy this beautiful Arizona inspired pot, planted some flowers in there and we just stuck that where the tree used to be. We do have quite a bit of artificial turf and beautiful pavers in our backyard, all of which was here when we purchased the home. This is one of the windows in our master bedroom. We have a beautiful rose bush, lots of greenery in this backyard, which I love. Lots of landscaping, which was something that we didn't find in a lot of the other houses that we were looking at. I did go ahead and put a hanging plant here just for some extra color. And then this is one side of our house, so everything's been cleared out of this side, and then that gate goes into our front yard. We love all the pavers. They were all here when we purchase the house. The fence was already in. Every home in Arizona does have a block fence that's generally put in when the home is built. So everybody's yard comes already fenced in. Here's that fence on the left side of our yard and lots and lots of artificial turf and paver. There's the palm tree we purchased at the nursery and planted. And I just, again, love all the greenery in our yard. I just think that it adds such a nice finished touch to the yard. And then looking here from this angle, that is my pride and joy, my lemon tree. We do have a rather large aloe vera plant as well, which when it flowers, it's absolutely beautiful. My husband's pride and joy is the other palm tree. He That's why we purchased the second one. He really likes having the palm tree. And another thing I loved about this backyard is it has a built-in fireplace, which is absolutely incredible. Now we haven't used it yet because it's really hot already right now, but come winter, winter in Arizona, we'll definitely get some use out of it. We just have a couple of other shrubbery and then there is the second lemon tree and the orange tree. You can see behind our house that they are building. So they are building a lot more houses. Luckily for us, there's a washout in between us and the new builds. So we have lots of privacy. And then past the orange tree on the other side of our house, there used to be two trees, which were both taken down. One of them was poisonous to dogs. And this one right here, again, was too close to our house. We did leave this big tall bush at the end because we love it. And it's far enough away from the house and doesn't have a really aggressive root system. So that is the backyard. It is a pretty good size for living in a community or a development in Arizona. It is fully landscaped, which we love and appreciate. And I'll tell you, we spent a lot of time in our backyard, in our backyard living space. Well, that is a wrap on the new home tour for Arizona. I hope you guys enjoyed taking a little tour through my house, sharing our decor and our new home. We absolutely love it here. Like I've shared time and time again, we are definitely Arizonans by heart. We love our new home. We love where we live. We love that it's sunny every day. It was so fun just taking you guys through our new house with us. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not because I upload five days a week and make sure your bell is turned on so you never miss a future upload. Don't forget to check out the description box for nutrition coaching, as well as links and discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group. Head on over, join us there. We would love to have you. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed our home tour and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.